Hey, Riverwood Church. I'm looking forward to being with you again on Sunday. We had a great celebration Sunday this last Sunday. And I get to um, open the Word again this coming Sunday. So I'm looking forward to that. We're going to look at John chapter 11, the resurrection of Lazarus. A fascinating passage. I can't wait to share it with you. And I and I sure hope that you take this opportunity to uh, read that chapter a couple of times even if you can before we get together on Sunday. There's a lot to explore there and it'll be fun to dive into it. But I also wanted to point out something that I was, from my reading uh, in um, the Old Testament recently, that I that I, I needed it as a reminder for myself. And I just wanted to share it with you in case you need it as a reminder. And, and that is that the, the Israel was in the desert for, you know, a long, long time. And then there are many occasions where they grumbled about their circumstances. But here's one of them in Numbers chapter 11, starting at verse 4, says this. Now the rabble that was among them had a strong craving... And the people of Israel also wept again and said, Oh, that we had meat to eat. We remember the fish we ate in Egypt that cost nothing, the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, the garlic. You can just hear them making this whole inventory of food that they, that they wanted to have. But now our strength is dried up and there is nothing but this manna to look at. I mean, this is like, all I've got is this manna and this smorgasbord of food. And I had to chuckle when I read this because it's like, they're, they're remembering all the food that they ate, but they conveniently forgot all the hardship that they went through as slaves to Pharaoh. Every day crying out for redemption and rescue for God. Their prayers were nothing but to get me out of this. And... They wanted nothing more than to be to be rescued, to not have to make bricks without straw and be under the burden of the taskmasters. And here it was what they're remembering now was not that. It was all oh, the food that was free and the cucumbers and the garlic. And the, you know what? It's easy for you and me to also forget the blessings of God. We focus on the on the things that are challenges today, and we forget the way in which God rescued us from our challenges in the past. So whatever you're going through, rest assured that God sees it all, and he's there, and he's there to rescue you through that and to bring you through it. But let's rejoice in that part and not in the longing for the way things used to be that's so distorted. God is with you. He's with me, and I'm grateful for that. I look forward to seeing you Sunday.